Man, we back. Marcy Sports Talk. We in the building. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Share the videos, man. And um, <clears throat> let's talk about uh, Andre Drummond. Tom Gore said um, if it was up to him, they had to extend Drummond right now. And I think Drummond is looking at a super max extension. I think it's like $40 million a year. And, um, you know, but it's a basketball decision for the team. It's up to Dwayne Casey and uh, most importantly, Ed Stefanowski and his pupil, uh, Malik Rose. And I think it's without a question, it's uh, Andre Drummond. Uh, Andre Drummond and Tom Gore's got a great relationship. You know what I'm saying? I think it's, it's, a, it's a great relationship. I think uh, he like him on a personal level. And uh, Stefanowski stayed away um, <clears throat> from the questions. But today they opened up their new practice facility in Midtown which I think is great that they commit into a full move in Detroit. And, you know, the Pistons has been a first-class organization. You know, they kind of been like the opposite of the Lions. They were the first uh, team with a PJ for their players, you know. And for people that don't know, and you got these NBA players crying about, they cry about, uh, oh, 82 game schedules, back-to-back, -back, three games to five nights. Back in the day, they was riding, a char they was riding like uh, regular flights, like uh, Northwest Delta, you know, you you liable to be going out to Philly. You might be on there with the Pistons or the 76ers or the Indiana Pacers. So, you know, you know, Bill Davidson, I think, was the owner at the time. You know, I'm not sure. But, you know, they've been a first-class organization, man. And uh, for them to have a top-notch practice facility in Detroit, I think that's great. For them to come back to Detroit, I think it's great. There's a lot of people, and I want to say this, too, and I kind of combine the videos, too. Uh, there's a lot of people that that – are frowning upon the Pistons coming to Detroit and say, oh, Mr. Palace, at the end of the day, it's not the Arban Hill Pistons, dude. It's the Detroit Pistons. They should be playing in Detroit. Not in the, the Arban Hill's not even in the metro Detroit area. You know what I'm saying? I don't consider that metro Detroit. So, and I think a lot of dudes are scared to come to Detroit. That's that's what it really boiled down to. A lot of, a lot of guys are scared to come through Detroit. You know what I'm saying? And that, And that's the crazy thing about it. You know, all the potholes, this and that. A lot of dudes fear coming to Detroit. They know you got to keep a peace. But downtown, they pretty much, uh, you know, made it, you know, family friendly. It's police and all types of things downtown. So they really try to control um, uh, control the violence down there, man. But a lot of dudes scared to come to Detroit. At the end of the day, well, tell Art, tell out there Army Hills to them to get their own franchise and shit. You know, I'm tired of people, oh, I don't go to Detroit and, I don't know. Hey, don't come to the games, bro. It's Detroit. All the pro teams should be in Detroit. You know what I'm saying? Or at least in the metro Detroit area. And us to have the Wings, the Lions, and the Pistons and the Tigers downtown, I think it makes the most sense. But uh, I just wanted to say that real quick. But, you know, at the end of the day, if they keep drumming or if they don't keep drumming, it, would, it, it, was, it wouldn't surprise me if they did either or. And I really ain't tripping. People say, you, you hate on drumming. One guy was like, you're the worst on Detroit Sports Talk group. I said, thank you, dude. <laughs> thank you. That thing, that's, I'm doing something right. I'm not, I don't approach this as a fan. I really never looked at sports as a fan. I look at it from my point of view. If I think a team going to lose, well, I'm going to tell y'all they going to lose. If I think they going to win, I'm going to win. Drumming ain't no super max player. Let's just get that established right now. He ain't no super max player. People quick to forget. Oh, he had 2020 win in the middle of fucking February. <laughs> what about versus Milwaukee? Where was that at? You know, you know. But if they play drum and super max money, then that mean they had a successful year this year. But he said they in the beginning uh, talking about the deal. Tom course, they in the business phases and stuff, and they entertaining it. But then again, you know, if he ain't got no problem spending the money, so be it. But I ain't never seen no player. Be a super max that ain't good at that ain't good at nothing but rebounding. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. When people we talk about Andre Drummond, he ain't good at nothing but rebounding. Everything else is subpar. And I was talking to people in the comment section on a video I did drumming for Adams. Well, I think Steven Adams is a better player than me. He a better defender. He defend the rim better. And he rebound at about the, you know, a little bit lesser than Drummond. But other than that, offensively, Adams might be better. Drummond missed more bunnies than anything. But Detroit has always been loyal to their players, though. That's just the way it is. If you're sorry or if you good, it don't matter. They forget what you did Tuesday. If you have a good game, three Thursdays down the line, they're going to glorify that game. So, at the end of the day, he's young. Him and Adam's the same age. But if they choose to pay him, it wouldn't surprise me. 
The ownership is he's the owner. He can overrule anything Stefanowski say. Make it work, pay him. But the Pistons are on the cusp of having a clean slate as far as on their books, on their cap room. They are, they're on the cusp of having a clean slate. Not saying they're going to go out there and get LeBron or Kevin Durant or something like that, but, you know, you can, you can write a lot of wrongs that uh, uh, Stan Van Gundy and Jordan Bowers did, man. You know, you can get that clean slate. You know what I'm saying? That clean, that clean cap, that clean books, they can do a lot because they overpaid for Reggie Jackson. They overpaid for uh, 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 Andre Drummond. But, you know, for players to come here, you're going to have to overpay. So I do understand that. But Andre Drummond got to earn that, man. He got to earn that. He got to improve on, on jump shooting or, 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 or his, better yet, his post game. He got to improve on posting up. He got to improve on uh, on uh, being a better defender. When you look at Ben Wallace, you say, what do Ben Wallace do good? Ben Wallace, at the end of the day, was a great defender. Okay? He did that. He rebounded. He defended. Dennis Rodman, great rebounder, great defender. I get it. You know what I'm saying? Andre Drummond, good rebounder. Do we bring defense? No. Do we bring offense? No. <laughs> Everything he do is off the rebound. Or his ability to get in a position to rebound, man, be boxing out, catching alley oops, or the most of his points come back on put come back on put on, come in on putbacks. So we we talking logical, we talking basketball facts, we not getting fandom emotions involved, and I think that's where the disconnect between a lot of people who don't like me, and I don't care if you don't like me, you gonna do shit to me, but a lot of people that don't like me or feel my content, it's no emotional and fan, it's no not a lot of fan emotion into it. It's strictly sports. It's strictly football. Strictly basketball. I'm not gonna just tell you what you want to hear. Oh, I think the Pistons gonna beat the Monstars. I just, you know, I just, I'm hoping. I'm thinking. I'm praying. I'm. No, nigga, I ain't doing that. You know what I'm saying? Can't nobody tell me nothing about basketball that I don't already know. You know, not not amongst these dudes. These when you talking about basketball and football, I know them like the back of my hand. I can coach basketball and I can coach football. In some most aspects, you ain't gonna tell me nothing about no sports. It ain't no hoping or wishing. I articulate how and, and how and why or why I think a team gonna win or lose. Who else doing it? Nobody. You know what I'm saying? Very very select few. So it is what it is. But if it's up to me, trade his ass for Stephen Adams. I don't care what nobody say. If I can get something more than Stephen Adams, you know. But I'm definitely if you walk, you walk. But you don't get nothing for him if you walk. You want to get something for him, babe. My personal opinion. I linked that in the article from 97 Wanted Ticket in the description. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the videos. Appreciate that love, support, man. Um, best way to donate, share the video. Don't forget to check them out the channel, Good Fella Sports TV. And uh, other than that, man, we're going to rock on out. We gone.